Hey, so this is my part two video of my two part video set. Um, there's just a couple of things that were missing out of my part one video. I didn't realize that the camera had shut off until after I had stated everything and I was really tired and didn't want to continue on with doing everything. So unfortunately my face and my hair is not done up for the for the uh, ending of this video. Um, spirit gum is really really difficult to uh, really really difficult to um, on the skin when you remove it so I, I wanted to keep my let my face rest for a bit so unfortunately it's not done but I do have the rest of my costume on. Uh, there were two items on that I wanted to make sure that I did mention. Um, one, one of the things that I kind of had an issue with, with my suit, had nothing to do with the girl that painted, my friend that painted it, but I marked the suit when I wasn't wearing it when, for my back, and so it's a little bit more off, so you could see it more in um, part one video, but you could also see it in this one. Like, the, uh, the spots are really, really terrible. So, I decided to do, kind of make two, hit two birds with one stone and a way to be able to cover it as well as um, not ruin the illusion of my costume or the appearance of my costume when I go to Comic Con and thought of why not make a Lucky Charm backpack. Um, so then I can carry all of my stuff, so my phone, my camera, any goodies that I buy, my wallet, um, my, my other yo-yo, and just kind of throw everything into a bag. Um, I did just buy a cheap kind of um, plasticky bag, I guess, from Google, from eBay. Everything that I purchased, um, there's will be a link in the description box uh, explaining all the links and whatnot to where I got everything. So um, I couldn't find a red bag, a red bag with black spots, so I just decided to paint it myself. Um, the circles that I used uh, are the same or the same size circles that I used my, on my arms. Um, all I did was I went to the dollar store. Um, if you live in Canada, the Dollarama. Uh, if you live anywhere else, check out your check out your um, dollar stores, or even like go to the cheap disposable party section of like Walmart or whatnot, um, and you could probably find these little cups. Um, so I just found a cup that. That's kind of broken, but uh, that had two circles on it. Um, the bigger circle was perfect for my, for like, the big part, like on like the rest of my body, and then I was able to use the small one um, for my arms. If you look in the show itself, um, minus the fact that her arms are a lot, her arms are a lot thinner. Um, it, you can actually tell, like you can actually see, like right up, the, like the top when her arms are still bigger than they are when they're smaller at the wrist, that her dots are actually different sizes. So, um, the smaller dots are, you, they're like, you can notice that they're smaller, but they're not so small that it's a ridiculously small size. Um, so, like getting a little cup like that just was perfect because the smaller circle was just, um, it, it, it balanced out with the bigger circles, so, um, so that's what I did. Uh, so when I put this onto my back, you can't really see the issue on the, uh, on the back of my costume. So I kind of feel a little bit better about that. Uh, it, do, it still does suck that there's no way for me to fix my back. Um, not like anybody that I really knows that or actually watched the show, so they aren't really going to notice anything. Um, and the other thing I wanted to bring up, because um, these are really, really awesome, and sadly they were not in the video yesterday, um, my earrings, I was going to actually make them, but I don't know how to use resin, uh, and surprisingly enough, every single jewelry store and craft store I went to had nothing to kind of like just take a circle and stick it onto the back of earrings. I thought that that would have been the easiest thing to find, but no, it is not easy to find these at all. Um, so um, there's a website, there's a Etsy 
user shop that I go to um, that that I have some of her earrings and I looked at the studs and I realized that they were the per the perfect size so I cut so I asked her if I could custom order just a pair of studs uh, she makes cat 3d cat earrings which are the most adorable thing there is a link in the bottom even if you don't want to like get the cat earrings uh, sorry get the ladybug earrings I'd say go there to just check out her her uh, her stuff she all hand makes everything they're really really adorable um, but yeah if you look at these it's like I blue skadooed into miraculous ladybug and took these earrings like um, hopefully hopefully you can see them they are one of the best things that are part of this costume like these are perfect um, so uh, I think that is everything that I wanted to talk uh, talk about um, that I wasn't able to get a chance to say in my last video due to the cutoff. Um, if you do have any questions, please feel free to call uh, to uh, to ask, leave a comment. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to answer, but I'll do my best. This is the first time I've ever actually gone and completed a cosplay. I did dress up like Harley Quinn once, but my friend made my costume. Um, I did Jack Skellington, but mind you again, all I did was make the tie. Um, so this was the first time that I basically almost went pretty much from scratch, other than the, the bodysuit being already made. Um, uh, all I had to do was get my friend to paint the circles, everything else I, uh, I made myself. Um, so I, I'm very proud of all the hard work that I've put into it, uh, all the hard work that my friend put uh, into the spots. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them as best as I can. Um, and enjoy Miraculous Ladybug.